नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स क्वेश्चंस फ्रॉम एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी इन कंटिन्यूएशन विथ अवर प्रीवियस वीडियोस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द फोर्टी नाइन्थ प्रॉब्लम विच इज बेस्ड ऑन डी सी सर्किट्स इन्वॉल्विंग रजिस्टर्स एंड कैपेसिटर्स इन द गिवन सर्किट each of the resistors is of 1 kilo ohm resistance and each of the capacitors has 4 microfarad capacitors what is the charge in the capacitor between the points b and f and we have four options all of them are in microcool so where are the points b and f here this is b and this is f so we would like to know how much charge there exists on either of the plates of this particular capacitor let me highlight it in blue color now this one okay fine to begin with to begin with we are we will first try to find a a, a path or a closed circuit path uh, to check whether there is any current flowing in this electric circuit so i will begin my or our journey in the circuit at p okay let us begin our journey at p so p and then we have a battery and then we have a resistance then we can go to q q to d no problem now d to a we can't go so we have to go to h okay d to h then h to g we can't go because this is dc so we have to go to e from e we can't go to a so we have to go to f from f again b is blocked so we have to go to g similarly from g we will go to c okay we will go to c c to b b to a and a to p so yes Uh, there is a closed uh, path so the current will flow now we would like to determine the magnitude of the current how are we going to do that there is only one battery here so that is 5 volt okay and in this path how many resistors did we encounter okay let us now count the resistors uh this is one okay then uh, c to g acha okay let us write it here p to q is one q to d no resistance d to h is second uh, h to e third uh, e to f is fourth uh, f to g is fifth g to c is sixth c to b is seventh c to b is seventh and b to a is eighth okay no resistance between a and b so there are eight resistors and each one of so they are in series and each one of them is of 1 kilo ohm okay so it will be current i into uh 1 kilo ohm is one single resistance into 8 okay so how much will i be i will be equal to 5 divided by 8 into 10 to the power 3 amperes okay this is by ohm's law so we have found out the current this is part 1 of the problem now let us go to part 2 <coughs> in part 2 we will try to find the potential difference between the points b and f okay vbf <coughs> now how are we going to find it <coughs> observe that uh the path that involves resistors between b and f is b to c to g to f okay b to c to g to f okay so that's basically this path b c g f you can do it either way that doesn't matter okay bcg now how many resistors are there in between the 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 points b and f there are three resistors okay so vbf must be three times 10 to the power 3 okay into the current okay we know that the potential drop between any two points is current multiplied by the a resistance that that electrical resistance that is there in between the two points okay v equal to r again the same formula but this time we are calculating the potential difference or voltage drop okay have we calculated the current already yes we have it so it's 3 into 10 raised to 3 into 5 upon 10 to the power 3 into 8 or 8 into 10 to the power 3. correct 5 upon 8 into 10 raised to 3. correct so it will be 15 by 8 Volts, okay, because 10 to the power 3, 10 to the power 3 will get cancelled. 5 into 3, 15, 15 upon 8, so 15. Okay, last part, last part. What are we asked? 
we are asked to find the charge okay now what is the main formula in capacitance c the capacitance is q by v correct so q must be cv or vc how much is v that's vbf for us that's 50 upon it okay what is the capacitance capacitance is 4 microfarad capacitance is 4 microfarad okay so into 10 raised to negative 6 microfarad so now this will be 7.5 15 by 2 is 7.5 so it will be 7.5 micro coulomb okay so this c is uh, the unit coulomb and this c is the capacitance okay so the charge on either of the plates of that capacitor which is there in between b and f will be 7.5 micro coulomb that is option b 7.5 okay so we had to first find this path and then we found out the current in using current we found out the potential difference ir and then eventually we substituted that in the capacitance formula to calculate the net charge on the capacitor bf 